Hi everybody, this is Henry, a French guy living in China, and today we'll talk about why the e-commerce is so awesome in China if you actually want to get your hands on spare parts uh, at a very low price to repair or to customize your computer. China is an absolute heaven for that, and there's two reasons, and they're called Taobao and Jindong. They were basically the two biggest online platform for buying stuff in China and they're totally awesome because you can actually get your hands on pretty much anything you want including some very cheap spare parts for your computer and there's also plenty of parts that you can only find in China they're basically impossible to get your hands on if you're outside of China so what the hell did I do so I recently bought a totally Chinese computer it's a Hasi K680E G6D1, I think, to be precise. And this is kind of like the entry-level gamer laptop. It's equiped with a 1050Ti, um, and the CPU is a 7th generation 7400U uh, version, uh, with the problem, of course, that you cannot overclock the CPU, right? And it's actually not so great. But this is basically the cheapest computer you can get your hands on, at least in China, uh, if you want at least a 1050 Ti equipped with an i5 um, Intel processor. I paid for this computer 4,800 yuan, which is, I don't know how much it does, in, but I'll indicate it. It's around like 700 euros, basically. And it's a really decent price for a laptop that is equipped with a 1050 Ti. So does it perform well? Is it um, so basically, yes, it's pretty good. Um, what I would have to say though, is that it's not the prettiest computer you can get your hands on for sure. It's actually pretty ugly. It's a computer that was, that came out in the early 2017 and it's kind of outdated to be honest. And it's important to note that there's a whole new generation of HASI that just came out uh, in the early 2018 with 8th generation of Intel CPUs and with a much, much, much better look. And I'll put a picture here. It actually performs pretty well, though, uh, in my first tests and after playing gaming for like, let's say, an hour. I was still reaching some pretty uncomfortable temperatures of 90 degrees, 91 degrees in even. And it's pretty bad, right? It doesn't give you any room for overclocking or anything. Well, it's not like there's so much anyways, because basically the CPU is not overclockable, but the 1050 Ti is a little bit overclockable. So what can I do, right? So I started to search a little bit on Taobao for spare parts, just kind of like out of curiosity, and I fell on this thing. Now, this thing is basically a set of radiators that are made out of copper and that allow you to link um, the fans of the GPU and the fans of the, the CPU together. Uh, and hopefully, well, you can get some better temperatures out of there. I uh, read the comments in Chinese and they said uh, that basically it seemed to be working. So I said, you know, why not? Let's give it a shot. It's anyways, it's so cheap. It's like six euros six dollars basically so anyways uh, but the thing is though it requires some let's say um, some barbarian methods you actually you know to implement this thing into your computer but I'll, we'll see that later so i received the thing fortunately and now i have to basically um i wanted to change my terminal paste anyways so it was a good occasion to try also to put this thing so you basically receive these five little uh, pieces of copper. First, what you have to do, and this is kind of like what's surprising for me, is that you actually need to remove an entire piece of plastic, like a plastic bridge inside your computer. So first off, of course, you clean off everything. You remove um, the radiator of the fan and the CPU. You remove the CPU too, of course. And what you have to do is remove a tiny little piece of plastic. So they literally recommend in the in the when you buy the thing to uh, basically heat up to blank and to cut directly through plastic with it so it seems very unreasonable but you know fuck it i don't have any warranty on this thing and i'm a adventurous man you might say so 
installing some new more radiators basically. I have to remove this piece and more this plastic here with hot knife. So after cutting this little piece of plastic, uh, hopefully without damaging the motherboard just underneath, right? Um, you basically have to put the thermal paste. So I had my own thermal paste actually. I had a Korean uh, one that uh, was is pretty good. This is the second part of the upgrade where basically you have to bend these little copper radiators, uh, kind of like a I don't know like a little play and trying to. They show, they show you a video actually how to do this thing. And, but basically you have to make them fit in order to create this bridge between your fan of your CPU and your GPU. So this is what I did. And when you're kind of done with your placement, you can actually uh, start to put the glue they actually gave you. Uh, so you put the glue on these things, you glue your little tiny little copper pieces and uh, you wait for 12 hours while of course praying and hope that you didn't destroy your computer entirely that cost you 700 euros right so the following day uh, I actually uh, tried to put back the back plate and I actually had some problems because the whole copper thing is so huge it actually blocks you from putting back your back plate but eventually I could do it so I could close the computer and now I fire it up and it worked it starts the computer starts and um, so now we are I'm checking for average temperatures and, and then the real test of course was launching a game for one hour and the end result I'm sorry this is not very professional you have to kind of believe me uh, the end result was I was getting temperatures that was around 79 degrees 80 degrees so basically a magnificent beautiful 10 degree drop it's absolutely totally insane so of course a lot of it is due to the thermal paste i used obviously but i think undeniably it's also linked to the fact that i used these little copper things another thing that is quite significant is that the actual noise generated by the fans was really lowered it's much less noisy than it was so complete goddamn success in this upgrade totally awesome so i could actually up, um, overclock a little bit the gpu to 10 percent 10 15 percent not much but still something so i don't know if this upgrade to link your gpu fan and your cpu fan is quite common but definitely definitely is a very good idea in my opinion so that's it, that was my super cheap Chinese cooling upgrade on my Chinese computer that allowed me to um, lose 10 degrees. Of course, there's many other things you can do. I also spotted some, uh, for instance, custom made water cooling system for your Alienware computer or for other kinds of uh, computers. There's just a whole bunch of other stuff to discover on Taobao. Uh, to upgrade your computer, to upgrade the performance of your computer. And just in general, you can also get your hands on so many spare parts, um, extra batteries, more RAM, replacement LCD screens, or even uh, secondhand CPUs. Uh, by the way, I can actually upgrade my CPU on my computer. I don't know if it's a common feature on modern gaming laptops, but there's definitely a socket in you know, you can actually remove the CPU from my computer if you want to and upgrade it to um, the next version. All of this, of course, at the very best price. However, if you actually plan on buying a new computer, you might be a little disappointed since there are some custom problems. I don't know why, like basically they have to ship outside of China the um, computer and ship, them, ship it back. So like for instance, Alienware or Dell computers or other famous brands, are actually pretty expensive if you buy them in China they're actually even cheaper I think in the US so not so interesting uh, but definitely if you're aiming for entry um, gaming laptops that are especially or if you just want to buy a Chinese brand uh, then for sure uh, it's gonna be really cheap so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video and um, well maybe I'll do something else about China 
there's a whole different other bunch of stuff I'm interested concerning China. It's very interesting to compare China with other countries like Japan and Korea um, because I also did live uh, in these countries too. And oh, and by the way, Shane, look, I finally uploaded something on YouTube. Oh my god. So, see you in the next one.